Welcome to Max's Grill. I'm Patrick Broadhead and today I'm going to show you how to make island spiced mahi-mahi. For the jerk marinade, you will need brown sugar, olive oil, scallions, cilantro, lime juice, ginger juice, rum, soy sauce, orange juice, fresh garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, red wine vinegar, salt. For the mango brown butter, you will need shallots, scotch bonnet pepper, vanilla bean, white wine vinegar, fresh ginger, sugar, pureed mango, butter, and salt. For the mango salsa, you're gonna need fresh chopped mango, mango puree, green onion, bell pepper, lime juice, ginger juice, cilantro, and salt. And finally, you're gonna need mahi-mahi, shrimp, vegetable oil, and your favorite fried rice. Let's get cooking. First, we're gonna start with the mango brown butter. We have a hot pan. We take our vinegar, a little sugar, shallots, scotch bonnet chili, or vanilla bean, fresh ginger, and the mango puree. Now we reduce that to a syrup. So while that's reducing, in the meantime, we're gonna make our marinade. So in a blender, we're gonna put all of our ingredients. So we have our green onions, brown sugar, orange juice, ginger juice, olive oil, scotch bonnet chilies, red wine vinegar, lime juice, rum, soy sauce, fresh garlic, and our dry spices, nutmeg, ground cinnamon, allspice, fresh cilantro and basil, and salt. Now we puree that till smooth. And this is what our finished marinade looks like. And now we're gonna marinate the mahi-mahi. I like to marinate mine for at least one hour and up to six hours. And now back for our brown butter sauce. We're gonna take our whole butter, add it to a hot skillet, and as you can see, we're already getting little brown bits going on here. Brown butter can burn in an instant, so you gotta keep your eye on it the whole time. And this is our finished brown butter. We're gonna let this cool just a little bit. We're gonna remove the vanilla bean from the reduction, and we'll bring the two of them together in a blender and make an emulsified sauce. And after 30 seconds in the blender, this is what you have as your finished product. And now for the mango salsa. We have fresh diced mango, a little mango puree, scallions and cilantro, red bell pepper, fresh ginger juice, fresh squeezed lime juice, and a little salt. And we just mix everything together so we get a beautiful salsa. And there you have the fresh mango salsa. All right, let's get this dish complete. We're gonna start the fish now. Put a little oil in our hot pan. We're gonna season the fish with a little bit of salt and pepper and add the fish. Now you want to let that cook for at least three minutes on the one side before you ever touch it. That way it gives it a nice brown, crusty edge to it. In the meantime, we'll start our fried rice. Now to serve this dish, you can use whatever kind of rice you like, but at max is we use the shrimp fried rice. Take a little oil in a hot skillet, add our baby shrimp, saute those just very quickly for a couple minutes. Now we'll add our fried rice to the dish. In the meantime, let's check on our fish. Now it's time to plate. First, we're going to put our shrimp fried rice on the plate, and we're going to top that with our beautifully cooked fish. And we put the sauce just a little bit on either side. And finally, chop it off with a little bit of fresh mango salsa. And there you have our island spice mahi-mahi. Now you can try this recipe at home, or you can come to Max's and let me cook it for you. Ah, uh, look, she sends me pictures of the baby all the time. You want to see? Yeah. What's his name? Luca. 